So, got a quick video today about zebra billy cans. This is the uh, 14 centimetre one, and they obviously come with these quite large bale handles, which sit out to the side, aren't always ideal when you're packing them, and you have to get the little metal clips to hold them in the upright position, which is okay on the bigger pots like this, but with my 12 centimetre pot, I found I didn't like it that much. I didn't think it was that useful. So what I did was I put a cable on the top of it, which meant that when you're packing it away, you could put the cable down to the side. And also another advantage of it is, is um, when you want to lock the lid, you can put the cable through the lid like that and put a twig through it or something like that. And you lock the lid in position. So you can have it as an oven as well. But the main reason that I'm doing this, and I'm going to show you this today because I'm illustrating it with a 10 centimetre billy, is with the bale handle on, that I've just taken off, I've just ground the, um, the bolts, these bolts here, I just ground them off with a drill and a grinder and pop the bale handle off so it gets rid of it. Now what's interesting then that's worth worthy of note is they can nest. So you can put your gas canister in your 10 centimetre billy. You can put your, your lid and your small little pan in the top there or put other stuff in the top without that and just put the lid on that. And then you can still put the lid on that. So in a 12 centimetre can, you've got two cooking pots and the stove basically. So, all that I do to achieve that is you can buy some cable, I think it's two millimeter cable, but you can also use brake cable um, that you've probably got lying around with your bike in the shed or something, use brake cable. And then you use these little brass constrictors that you crush down on the cable when you've got it the right length and fed through. The beauty of it is, these sit up all the time. So when it's on the fire, you're never having to go and try and get handles. You just pick them up, it can hang off it. But even if you've just got it sat on the fire, that's always there to pick it up by. And you can choose the distance you want it. For instance, on the 10 millimeter that I'm gonna put on now, I'll probably put it on a little bit shorter so there's not so much of it to go inside this pot in the nest. I'll bring you back when I've done it and let you know what it looks like. So, I've got one side fitted. And then when it comes to doing the other side, the length of it, you just really want to be able to make sure that you can fit everything underneath, as in the lid and everything. So that's plenty big enough, it could probably go down a bit smaller than that. So that should still enable me to take everything off and it should still keep the pot upright. So that's about the right length. So I'll just finish it off. So this is after it's all been done. So this is a 12 centimeter billy with the 10 centimeter one inside. In this particular case, I'll put that in there, but that will probably be the uh, stove itself. Um, and then the 10 centimeter billy with its 
new handle attached. And obviously in there we've got your stove and a few drinking chocolates and whatnot. So you've got quite a good um, little nesting set there just for the sake of taking the handles off. I hope this has been a good video and I hope it's of help to somebody. Thank you. Bye.